The project is based on 10 weeks of collecting text from different groups from all over Plymouth, so from primary school children to um, uh, 80 plus, I won't give their exact age obviously, 80 plus uh, residents of Plymouth who all provided text that they'd like to see on these, these placards. So the text or the way the work is made, the references, protests, placards, but the text itself is very open, it's apolitical rather than being absolutely about a certain thing. Hold them up, let's have a look. That's my A. Mine's too fat. Oh no, that's good. That's really good. <laughs> They're really good. They're ex that is quite, a, that looks like the Eiffel Tower. That's very, yeah, it's excellent. Face. If you want to do... Which of those bees now, if any, do you think are good enough? Sorry, that one? So these no? This one? Yeah. This one? No. This one. I like that one. This? Okay, anyone else for two? Got two different <laughs> that's a, well that's kind of a good bee in my mind, but I just want to make th this has to be a joint. That I might be the dict. Okay, so do you think it's these two? Yeah. So should we put that against the A and see what we've got? Is that good? As a beginning? This work by Peter Liversidge, generating text from groups of people around Plymouth, is particularly important um, because it brings the word of people who would not normally be engaged within contemporary visual arts to the table. And so actually coming out and meeting with groups in their own environments, like this group and the George Hostel group, which I worked with a few weeks ago, is to me really important. So those people get a say in what's happening as well and are featured as part of our um, current contemporary visual arts scene. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, and um, is that a picture of a UFO? It can be anything you want it to be. The perfect artist's answer. <laughs> <laughs> it reminded me of when I was younger and I used to protest about things like in the early 80s. Um, so that sort of made me remember then. And it sounded interesting, and I don't have to draw a picture or anything. Okay. <coughs> have some of you or all of you used a blue match? Have you used a blue match at the same time? And then we'll come back and do this. Oh, that's a good S. That's a great S. That's okay. Oh, we ran out. That's okay. <laughs> You'll get to the point where the S's will become lower. Oh, they'll be much quicker. Actually. Okay. Okay. Can you change brushes mid sign? No. Okay. You start with the brush and then. And don't forget the eye. The great thing about the eye is you can. It doesn't need as much space as no or a T. You see what I mean? You can then condense things. <laughs> These are all looking great. How do you feel about these drips? Say you've just done a big sign, and on your M, which is the second to last letter, not quite sure what that word would be, um, and it has that drip, does that bother you? Yeah, it's just me. 
Uh, you see, I'm your uh, printer, aren't you? Yeah. So I can see that bother. Does it bother? Who's a paint? You, who, how many painters were there? See, no, you shouldn't do. That's fabulous. Yeah. Does that bother you as a painter? Because no. what we have to do is we have to get a consensus as a group to know that what our tolerances are for the work. Does that make sense? You have to be quite quick because obviously as soon as it cools down, it starts to dry and then it doesn't glue as well. I've done the workshop this morning and Peter shown on how to do the letters because there is a specific way to do the letters. Um, and yeah, so and we've got the text that the the text is from around Plummer, um, from the people of Plummer. And because it's, then it gives diversity, doesn't it? And also people from different backgrounds, and people put their own stamp on things, don't they? <laughs> And then basically, you choose one and you speak to these. I'm a letterpress printer and I make my own political signs. So it's the type of art which I'm doing at the moment. So I, I produce political statements uh, using letterpress posters um, and I have an exhibition on Plymouth Art Weekend uh, this weekend. Um, and this was a, a, a brilliant collaboration because it's my type of my type of work. And the idea of coming together uh, to create messages that we can show people like councils or governments is uh, an excellent idea. I think there's the strength in unity, I think. 